fire signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Tuesday, January 15th, 2019. I'm going to take you on down here. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, and Rising, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I am using the Vice Versa deck tonight. Your guys' first card out is the Ten of Swords with the Two of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Your person has the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Wands in the reverse, the Moon. In the outcome, you guys have the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Your guys' bottom of the deck and the shared energy is the Knight of Pentacles. The back side of that card, <clears throat> clarified by the Knight of Swords, or the Page of Swords, and the Six of Swords. Next card out is uh, Temperance, the back side of Temperance, the Ace of Swords, and the Star card. Wow. Some major healing energy there. Um, finding the truth and healing from it, mastering, finding self-mastery. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Okay, so this energy is going to be very strong here in the next eclipse. Uh, you see how the moon is blocking out the sun. This is a transformation period for you guys, um, leaving behind the old you and really looking back and... Um, appreciating and realizing how far you guys actually have come um, looking at the old you and kind of having a smile on their face because it's like look how look what I've become look how far I've come I have lived through this I have um, worked very hard to shed the old me to leave that person behind to not let that person control my thoughts um, yeah, and you are finding, you are going within, you're finding introspection. This is, uh, <clears throat> the two of wands. So you're deciding in what direction to go. Um, you know that either way you go, you're going to find success because you're feeling very confident right now. Um, but you're really going within, you're really asking yourself, you're really reflecting back on the past, um, deciding where to go and for the future um, so right now you're just holding back you're emotionally unavailable um, you could be uh, stingy with your finances you could be worrying about finances um, if worrying about how are you going to take the path that you want to follow um, because you're not sure about uh, the money part of it Yeah. Okay. I am going to go to the bottom of the deck from here. Um, you got the Knight of Pentacles on the back side. So, um, not having a whole lot left. Um, in the front, you see, you know, that it, it's bright and barren, or bright and um, green and very confident. And um, on the reverse side, it's really uh, going within as well, taking whatever they have left. And moving forward um, they don't have a whole lot they have a little bit of um, wheat in their back pocket that one pinnacle and their horse and they're taking off they're moving forward um, they're moving in a slow direction because they don't know exactly what direction to go what direction is best for them they're really going within or this person is either you or them <coughs> really really um, this could be you because this is also a card of introspection and with you um, with this eclipse energy and you looking at how far you've come this is also somebody that is coming in for you though very slow earth sign energy with air in their chart um, yeah like yeah earth in their chart or earth sign with air in their chart definitely 
but um, there you have been waiting for this person to come forward and tell talk to you to tell you the truth to let you know what is going on um, and they've just had their back to you they're silent they're not speaking um, on both of these cards their back is away from you or you them um, they're not uh, knowing they're not turning around yet because they don't know how to answer it yet um, you are are leaving the difficult situation behind and moving forward to something that is much more um, emotionally soothing this is them taking off in the six of swords on the reverse this is them arriving to their destination to the smoother waters um, they still have their cup intact but a lot of thoughts and emotions that they have to heal from um, so one of you is moving very slow not coming forward as quick as you would like not um, coming forward with the truth like you had hoped so <clears throat> you have moved away from that connection you have cut uh, yourself off from that connection or they did um, just to have some emotional uh, stability for a little bit to get out of that ups and downs of the roller coaster that you've been on and um, and just letting it ride just enjoying the peace for right now for some of you you could be hearing from somebody you're in separation from letting them know that they are moving away from a connection that they were with with somebody else um, for some of you, the person you are dealing with, they have the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, something, something new, something, a gift coming in for them, something they can take to the bank. Um, this is a financial abundant of some sort of new beginnings. They may be starting a new job that's going to be very financially uh, re uh, prosperous, prosperous uh, for them. But the next two cards, I'm just, I'm not liking because the King of Wands in this deck, in the reverse, it has the King, it's dark, and there's the snake there. Um, this person uh, in the daylight looks, looks great, but when you look in their dark closets, they have some things they're hiding. Um, they could have done some things that aren't so good. They could have... Uh, just watch for the snake in the ground with this person. Most definitely. Because you are nearing the end of a cycle here. They have just ended a cycle and starting a new one. Um, but be careful. Because then their next card out is the moon as well. So um, they have a deep passion for you. They have a... Um, you guys have a connection to each other with the stars. But it's still something being something being hidden from you and that's why they're not coming forward and speaking because they can't they don't want to lie to you but they can't tell you the truth is what I'm feeling yeah so um, your guys's outcome for Tuesday is the seven of Pentacles on the back side um, and on the front side you know this is the the planting the seeds the planting the intentions on this side still waiting for uh, for the for the crop for whatever it is that you are trying to manifest not doing any work because that's what the front is but on the back it is just still waiting for it to come to fruition um, <coughs> make sure just because you're waiting doesn't mean you're not weeding your own garden because there are some people in your energetic space that would probably serve you um, some good to uh, cut them out of, of your energy uh, you guys also have the eight of cups on the back side so this is focusing on what you lost and only paying attention to your empty cups not seeing the beauty of the comment behind you um, this is your wish this is your shooting star um, you're missing your opportunity because you're focused on the past you're too focused on how these cups were drained why these cups were drained why they're not filling back up when your wish is is flying by right behind you you just have to turn around and look you have to see things from a different perspective in order to get a different outcome you are finishing out the day with the nine of pentacles in the reverse i just love these two cards because look at the two moons most so beautiful but um this is walking away knowing that you are a better person than what you walked in um as you have 
have invested in yourself. You have, some of you gone back to school. Some of you just um, gain that self-confidence and realize your self-worth now that you're not going to um, expect anything less than the best. And you could be turning your back on someone as well. Um, it could be this person that is not moving very quickly at all. Yeah, I do feel that the betrayal did come from this person. So this is somebody that you have been with in the past. But I feel you're in separation now because the Eight of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles here and the Nine of Pentacles. But um, this this betrayal came from this person. Uh, they were sneaky. They were hiding things. They weren't necessarily lying, but they weren't telling you the truth. They weren't revealing to you what was going on. And, and when you found out, it just, it was like, not again, really. I, I am quitting this karmic cycle. I am done. I'm walking away. Fuck this. I am done, 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 done. And now you're looking back at yourself and proud of yourself because you finally stood up for that. You finally stood up for yourself. You're finally realizing your worth. And if they don't turn around pretty soon and see your worth as well, then you're walking the other way. Um, they are emotionally closed off. They're emotionally unavailable. They um, they aren't they aren't facing you right now. They feel guilty. I feel so. Um, they're trying to deal with their emotions, and they're leaving you here just to wait, to keep waiting, to keep waiting. Um, but you both have your backs to each other. I think that's so important. Yeah, and. Uh, for some of you, this person not um, sharing their feelings, not um, allowing you in, having that wall up, being stingy with their time, with their with their emotions, um, you know they're hiding something. You could possibly know what they're hiding, but they're not admitting it or not telling you yet because they're not speaking. But um, because they're so emotionally closed off and they're keeping secrets, some uh, s this group of you are walking away. And... And heading out towards, uh, to find real passion, true love. For this group of you, you guys, um, are coming out of some heartache and betrayal. The offer is here, and it's waiting, but so are you, because this person is slow. Slow, slow, slow. So if you continue to wait, continue to work on yourself, and don't get stagnant, you will have this new beginning, but it's going to take um, some more work because the Eight of Pentacles is next. So it's still going to take some work before you can get to this Ace of Pentacles. And finally, you are out looking out over, you know, your world. You're waiting for this person to look back, but they're too busy crying in their Cheerios, I see, or I think, or I feel. They're too busy looking at what they have lost, what they have to give up in order to move into this new path. And you're no longer going to, to allow your shooting star to pass you by. Some of you are moving away from this connection. And some of you, you have somebody moving in towards you. But um, for a lot of you, you are walking away. This person has had their back to you far too long. They've been emotionally closed off. Not telling you their feelings. Not picking a path. Making you wait. Crying over their, their spilled cups. Keeping secrets and being sneaky and they betrayed you you're asking yourself today why am I still here why have I not walked away why have I um, turned my back to the truth from the divine and why am I not healing because this was some toxic energy and th the cycle needs to end the cycle needs to close because there was a lot of deceit betrayal there was a lot of mean things this person said to you and at the end of the day, they walked away with their cup in hand and didn't leave you with it. So you're asking yourself, what am I, what am I waiting for? What am I do, still doing here? For some of you, when you uh, move away, when you uh, break away from this connection and allow that cycle to come to a close, you will get your um, new beginning at that point that will be based on truth. So... Kind of uh, all over energies today, fire signs, but um, maybe one of those situations fit. Um, at the end of the day, you're still sitting there waiting for this group of you, for the majority of you. 
waiting for that truth, waiting for them to return and explain to you what happened, what went on. Um, but I do see you still in that Seven of Pentacles energy um, and contemplating that Nine of Pentacles energy and walking away. So, all right, fire signs, I hope you have a great night. I will see you tomorrow. God bless.